currently heading into the 6th of November 2019 and uh, right here on your satellite imagery the strongest typhoon of 2019 and I would even dare say this is probably one of the strongest storms on the planet of the year only rivaled by Dorian um, in the Atlantic but the thing with that storm we actually had recon we are basing this on Dvorak estimates since this is nowhere near land masses and there is no recon here in the western Pacific do have the northern Mariana Islands here and the Ogasawa Islands towards the northwest but the good news the storm system is going to shape up and turn towards the northeast so really uh, just a specimen uh, to watch out here out in the open ocean just to put this in perspective according to the japan meteorological agency which uses a 10 minute wind scale by the way winds are now at 215 kilometers per hour uh Hagibis was at 195 and even wu tip earlier this year was at 195 as well so pressure is lower and uh, winds are higher both of those storm systems but on a one minute wind scale by the way according to the joint typhoon warning center winds are now at 150 40 knots sustained uh that is just absolutely incredible that puts it about 160 miles per hour still shy of dorian but here's the thing the western pacific we use this fancy thing called a dvorak scale and right now uh this is at a 7.8 T number. Uh, what that simply means, though, is that uh, estimated based on satellite analysis, pressure could be down about 894 millibars and winds upwards of 164 knots. Now, if you remember, I just mentioned with JTWC, they're being a little bit more conservative than what that T number is showing with 140 knots sustained winds. But technically based on what we're seeing right now it could be up to 164 if you had a really aggressive forecaster and that's the problem with the western pacific is that you have to use the dvorak scale and it's based on remote censoring we don't have recon here but i think if we had recon a hurricane hunter flying into the storm system it would be the strongest storm on the planet in 2019 unfortunately we do not have that luxury is what it is but anyways Right now, though, the storm system is going to move towards the northeast. There's not really many islands out here at all uh, across the North Pacific. Uh, really, this is going to kick up some good waves for the northern Mariana Islands and the Ogasawa Islands. Surfers are going to enjoy this across the east coast of Japan as well. But eventually, this whole front right here, that is just going to plow it off and kick it off towards the north and east. Eventually, could affect the upper atmosphere in North America. Might cause a nice little cold spell next week. I'll talk more on that later on. My blog on it at westernpacificweather.com. Separately, I'm going to make another video on this guy out here. He's starting to spin up on the tail end of this front. Totally separated, but is bringing in some decent rainfall across the northern Philippines. Anyways, that is all for right now. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions please post them down in the comment box below i always appreciate your feedback and as always stay safe out there don't go anywhere near the storm all right